Hey guys, it's the 100th video! Woo! And also, it's the start of Harry Potter month. What could be more awesome than Harry Potter month, really? So excited, so stoked. So we're talking about um how we got into Harry Potter. I was in grade 3, I was 8 years old, when um, this kid in my class, he was a grade 4 kid, we were in a 3-4 split class, um, he came up to me one day, and he was like, I know you really like to read, this book's so good, and he was talking about the first Harry Potter, the Philosopher's Stone, which apparently is the Sorcerer's Stone in the States, which I knew, but it's weird to hear everyone say that, but, um, so he's like, you have to read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it's so good, and I was like, okay, I love reading, so my mom and I were shopping one day at Zeller's, this store in Canada. It's like Target. Actually, Target's replacing Zeller's in a couple years. My glasses are crooked. <laughs> but um, we were at Zeller's, and I was like, Mom, there's this book that Philip told me was really good. And I pointed it out to her. I was like, it's Harry Potter. We should get it. And she read the back. She's like, okay, I guess so. Kind of looks weird. So then we bought it, and I read it so fast. I was obsessed with reading when I was a kid. Like, I think I started reading when I was three. And I was reading chapter books by, like, grade one. So this is grade three. So Harry Potter was a little bit challenging because there's like a lot of words that are like British and stuff and I had no idea what they meant but I sounded everything out and asked teachers and my mom and stuff what certain things meant like corridor, no idea that that meant hallway when I was a kid. But um, so I became like obsessed with Harry Potter and I don't really remember the details of reading the other ones but I just remember that I like fell in love and I made my mom read it and I think she started reading them when we would go buy the books, she would read them first because she ran faster, obviously, as a kid. But she'd be the one to read them first, and then I would read it. And I think that, like, the fourth and fifth and sixth books took me a while to read, like, months to read, because I couldn't really get into them as much. But I, like, fell in love again with Harry Potter, and I'm, like, obsessed. And I'm really upset that it's ending, because with the books, even though the books ended... <clears throat> sorry, you always had another movie to look forward to, and now the movies are going to be over, and it's going to be sad, but yeah, so as for, we're doing favorite movie and un not favorite movie, movie we didn't like, the movie I didn't really like was Half-Blood Prince, because it didn't really have anything but the whole Half-Blood Prince thing in it, it was just like, sup, I got this textbook, it says Half-Blood Prince, and then it was like, hey, Harry, by the way, I'm the Half-Blood Prince, so I don't know, I just, it, mm, yeah, and they could have had a little bit more when Dumbledore died, because it was just kind of like, Dumbledore died, wands, okay, movie's done. I don't know, there could have been more with that, and there could have been more to do with the actual, like, Half-Blood Prince thing, and I think, I don't know if we were talking about favorite movie, I don't remember, my favorite movie, ah, uh, maybe the third one. Or the first one, because you're like, I don't know, the first one, when I first saw it, obviously it was like, it was magical, I guess the first movie when I first saw it, because you get to see, like, you've had all these images in your brain about what it, everything should look like, and everything kind of fit with what I thought anyway, and I was a little kid, so it was so exciting, I think I was 10 when the first movie came out, and it was just so cool to see, like, the thing that I love so much, like, really on the screen, so that was really sweet. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my wand that I made. I made this a few months ago, like in the fall. I made it. It's a rolled up piece of paper. And this is like glue gun glue. I found some tutorial on a website how to make it. And I made it. And it's like, like it's hefty. You can't like bend it or anything. It's, it's awesome. So I brought it to Deathly Hills part one. I'm so stoked on this. And I'm excited. And we need to think of a Harry Potter themed punishment for me because I went over the limit last week. Um, DFTBA, have a good week. I'm excited to see everyone's videos, and, uh, bye guys!